So a client came in the other day and he had an emergency with his instrument. Uh, his daughter had opened the case and uh, there was a crack. Wow, okay, so that's an accident. But it's not something you open your case to. So this, there's no way this accident actually just happened. I think something must have been dropped on the instrument to, uh, for this to happen because you, you can see the impact spots here and here. And you've got a, uh, you know, you've got one, two, three cracks. This one here is a bit double, so yeah maybe someone borrowed the violin at school and and wrecked it but uh yeah that's pretty rough all right well i'm gonna take the strings off i've got to be really careful because there's a couple of chips loose chips here but I'll, I'll quickly take the strings off and i'll take it into my workshop first i need to do is open the violin up so i just took the tail piece off and there's actually a little crack here as well so the first thing I have to do is crack open the instrument. Now, look, I know this is stressful for some, so let's just take a moment. I'll play you some relaxation music while violently cracking open this violin. Okay, the exciting moment. It's the last little crack. Oh wow, that's had a had some bugs inside it at one point. I'll be able to clean that out, that's good. Um, yeah, so here's the problem. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze everything gently back into place. So this this crack here especially, this is a difficult one because it uh, because it's actually angled at this angle. So it's gonna be quite difficult to glue. I have to um, put clamps on up and down as well as sideways so it's all actually pressing together really nicely so what I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm just realigning the cracks to make sure that um, that they're all just just sitting um, sitting flat and yes and I'll, I'll probably glue the middle one first because that'll stabilize things a lot so first of all I'm just gonna get my clamps so I use these crack clamps here on this kind of crack. Uh, I can get the crack really well into place like that. Some makers uh, use counter molds and things like that, but this is, you know, this is an old German violin. It, it's got a value of uh, maybe around $5,000. So it doesn't warrant, you know, building, doing a whole mold. So, um, so I'll glue it like this and uh, I think like it looks like it'll come together beautifully you won't be able to see much when it's finished the great thing is I got the repair straight away after it happened the clients didn't touch these areas so it's all really well preserved so I think it's going to look really good when it's finished so uh, I'll just do a dry run and then I'll glue the first crack and then I'm just going to have to put it aside for a few uh, few hours that looks that's going to come together beautifully all right i'm happy with the dry run so i'm just going to put some glue in there so i rub glue in i want to make sure i've got a cloth here so i can wash the glue off afterwards so i've got to be really careful not to get any glue into the other cracks Otherwise, I won't be able to glue them later, or they might uh, glue crookedly. So this is, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Uh, it's come together beautifully. Now that crack just has to dry uh, for at least four hours, but it's been quite humid here, so I'm probably gonna do it for longer. Well, it's been a few hours. It is uh, late afternoon now. So um, it's okay to take this clamp off and I'm going to do the next crack. Um, I'll take a crack at it. <laughs> That's what you call a dad joke. 
So that's actually come together nicely. Um, you can still see a little bit of a mark. That'll all be taken care of when I do the retouching. Um, now I'm gonna do the less challenging of the two cracks because I don't have that much time today. So that is the one that it, it kind of, it kind of starts up here. Then it goes down and it sort of just, it's just loosened the purfling along here. Purfling actually looks like this and it's been uh, inlaid. So it's inlaid to half the thickness, um, about half the thickness of the top plate. And then it's, uh, you've got the crack here, the F hole crack, which is right here. So I'm gonna glue all that in one go. So I'll use the same two clamps and I'll also use a wedge that I will wedge into the into the F hole to basically clamp this crack. All right, I'm all ready to go. So I always have to work very fast. I use hide glue, which uh, they've shown it's been used by the Egyptians. So it's a collagen based glue. It's actually the same kind of stuff that holds human beings together. And uh, that glue has been used in ancient Egypt 5,000 years ago. And it, in some cases that actually still holds 5,000 years later. So it's been proven, it's been tested, much more than I can say for some of the modern glues. Yes, so modern glues, um, you know, we just don't know how long they last. Uh, synthetic, a lot of synthetic things last about 30 years or so. I mean, there's plastic items that were made 30 years ago that still hold quite well, but I'm fairly certain that there's a degradation as oxygen gets to them. Whereas this glue, we know that this glue holds for thousands of years. We've seen on old instruments, uh, you know, Amatis say that were made in the 1500s, like early to mid 1500s. The glue has held over the years. So, you know, it's trusted. But the other, the great thing about it is I can also release the glue if needed. So that's a really good quality that hide glue has. One of the cracks is here and then it just continues up along here. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to leave this to dry um, uh, over the weekend, actually. And uh, next week I'll get to it. I'll do the last crack. Um, there's also the one in the center join here that I discovered. I've emailed the client uh, and suggested that he gets that fixed. It actually needs to be fixed. It's actually totally open. And uh, then I can do the cleats next week and uh, and close up the instrument and do the retouching again okay well see you then so it's Monday morning first of all of course I've got to take the clamps off the previous repair you know how that's done so I won't show you and then I'll get on to gluing the other crack I've got my glue all ready so here we go. This crack's a little bit more of a tricky one, but uh, because it's kind of cracked a little bit around the corner, I've got to make sure the glue goes all the way through. There we go. That's all done. I've just had a weekend away, so, um, so it's kind of nice coming back in and getting back into work. Sometimes it's good to get out into nature and just get away from it all. It's evening and uh, this is now sort of glued the last crack of this repair uh, but I'm just going to do a few of these um, of the cleats here. It's come together really beautifully so it's actually almost impossible to see where to put the reinforcement so I'm gonna have to draw that them in uh, so I know where to go. I'm just making a few of these cleats right now. Okay, so I've made the cleats. I'm just gonna get some backing um, uh, timber just to support so I don't leave any pressure marks from the clamps. I'll get my clamps ready. I'll just do one at a time. Okay, last one for today. 
then I'm going to leave this dry overnight. I'll have to glue that other crack uh, tomorrow as well. And rein I, can, I should be able to reinforce it by the afternoon, which means the following day all going well. I should be able to close the instrument, which is very exciting. And we're done. You know what? I'm just going to glue this crack now. Because that means I can glue up the violin tomorrow already. This can dry overnight. And uh, the crack, oh, that would be just perfect. It's actually come together beautifully. So how brilliant is that? So that can glue overnight. That means tomorrow I can literally reinforce the rest tomorrow morning. Uh, and then by the afternoon, I should be able to glue the whole instrument together. That's super exciting. I just saved myself, I think, a whole day on this repair. Okay, so I'm going to leave that dry overnight and I'll get back to it tomorrow to do the cleats. See you in the morning. the next morning uh, everything should have glued by now gotta have my coffee first of course mm. I turned the glue on a little bit earlier so it's ready to go but first of all I've got to take all the clamps off that's come together beautifully the crack in the middle here is um, Definitely all glued. Okay, so so I've just got to put um, reinforcement cleats uh, along here. Then I've got that last crack, so that's a crack here, uh, which is also uh, uh, on the F hole here, on the F hole crack. Uh, all up, I'll need about eight more cleats to glue on. I'm going to do that this morning, and which means I should be able to glue the instrument shut by this evening which is very exciting i'm also going to just clean these crack areas off um, earlier and do some filling because i want to just clean the area under the fingerboard because that's an area that uh, that is really hard to get to so anytime i have this area exposed i always try and clean it that's definitely much cleaner. I'm just going to let it dry for a moment before I glue the cleats on. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm going to fill uh, these two, um, the two cracks that are closest to underneath the fingerboard. It just makes it easier for me to retouch. They have to go come together quite beautifully. Uh, so hopefully there'll be not too much to retouch at the end. Okay, fantastic. That's uh, I'm happy with that. Looks a bit weird right now, but uh, once that's all dried, uh, it'll level out really beautifully. Okay, it's fairly late in the evening. This is my only other evening. I'm going to work late this week. I, I sometimes like working late because, um, you know, it gives me a bit of quietness. Great thing is, you know, I went away camping over the weekend, so basically created a long weekend so I don't mind working some evenings so now I'm just gonna take this clamp off here and then uh, I'll cut back this cleat here it's the last one all the others look absolutely fabulous I've cleaned up the inside of the top plate a little bit there was some bug kind of damage in there not a huge fan so I'll just quickly finish this cleat then we'll glue up the violin A bit of fine sanding to finish off. So now I've got to get the rest of the instrument, get my clamps ready, the glue is already bubbling away, and then uh, I'll glue up the violin. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'll do a very quick polish of the area under the fingerboard. Here's the rest of the instrument. It's gluing time. Okay. 
I shortened the settle down a little bit so it doesn't put tension on this area. Okay, well that's glued for now. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wash and uh, then I will just leave everything till tomorrow morning. So guys, if you like my channel and if you are interested in seeing repairs like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. You'll be the first to watch it. Good morning. I'm back. It's the following morning. I actually have another job to do. I have to finish setting up a cello, but I want to just quickly take the clamps off this violin and I want to put some filling varnish on the remaining three cracks. Definitely want to pull that off very slowly just to make sure it doesn't stick to the varnish. So the instrument is now back in one piece. This is all reinforced. It's amazing, you can already see so little. So that's a good thing about gluing in a fresh break because if the client doesn't really touch that area very much, it's possible to make it almost invisible. You know, there's just the tiniest hairline uh, that might be visible if you are a trained maker. But a lot of people won't even see that there's ever been a crack and, and that'll be nice for the player. So today is our first real, uh, what I'd call winter's morning in, in Australia. So we live on the east coast of Australia. So you imagine like this, this little thing going up, down and around and then... So we live on the east coast and in winter what happens is that you get a high pressure system in the middle. It just twists around and it drives dry and cold air along the east coast and uh, and so you get these beautiful magnificently blue skies so i got my heater going okay that can dry now i'm i'm actually just gonna hang that up now because i've got to focus on a cello that i'm setting up for a client so I am back now. It's the instrument has kind of settled down a bit. I am going to do a tiny bit of retouching. So it has to, I have to add a tiny bit of color varnish. It's very little, but it has to be done. And, uh, and then I'll add some more normal varnish. Then I can polish over the area. And literally after that, I can just put the instrument back together. So first of all, I am going to use a bit of um, metho. I'm going to mix some of my colors. I've, I've actually, I did some mixing already. Now I just got to actually retouch. Okay, so I've, I've done a lot of the retouching now. I just need to add some clear varnish over the top. Then I'll sand it and I'll add another coat of clear varnish over the top and uh, then I'll probably start the polishing process. All right, just gonna let that dry and then I'll definitely add another coat. I really wanna lock in that color. And then I'll probably do a very fine sand and then do another coat. Okay, it's evening. I've just quickly popped in to do a quick sand and a little polish of this area. Okay, so that's a nice start. You can already see the area it looks a lot better. I'll just hang that up and we'll do some more tomorrow. Good morning. It is the last day of this repair. The area dried overnight after I did a little bit of a polish. So this morning I am just going to do a, a sand with very fine sandpaper and repolish the area and then I'm going to put the strings on so that's super exciting. And while I'm there I'm just going to just finish polishing the rest of the top plate as well. <laughs> Quick shout out to Ed who sent me this little square. It is very cute. Thank you so much. He, he'd seen me use this and uh, and that is absolutely beautiful. It also has all these other angles on it. So thank you so much for sending it. It's really kind and I think it'll be extremely useful. I'm polishing the whole top plate as well, uh, just to 
uh, to make sure that the the work I did blends in really nicely with the rest of the instrument but you can you know you can see it's it's looking really good like there's not much you can see from the cracks all right I've polished for a while I'm literally I've got to let that dry for probably half an hour to an hour and then I'm gonna sand over it again uh, and do another polish and I think then I'll be ready. In the meantime, I'll probably make a coffee and do my morning meditation. Okay, I've waited a good hour and uh, I'm just gonna just give this one final sand and uh, one final polish and then I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and put the strings on. Gotta have a sip of coffee, of course. Mm. Gotta be careful that area's quite wet now like quite uh, dissolved but I'm I'm very happy with the way that's come together I'm just gonna let that dry like I'll hang it up let it dry and then I'll put the strings on in about half an hour okay I've let that dry I'm just gonna put the strings on I'm putting new strings on so I'll just put them on and then let it settle. I'm actually gonna go for a little bike ride. Turns out that the weather, there's some cloud cover coming and it's a beautiful day out. So I'm gonna go for a bike ride now. Just using the two strings. So bridge is on, strings are quite loose still, so I have to do the sound post. I'm just gonna put the, uh, the chin rest on, sound post in. I've just put the strings on, so happy with that. So uh, I'm just gonna let this settle in, and then in about an hour, I'll just do a final tryout, make sure everything's working well. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the final uh, uh, final setup and checking the instrument. I've been so busy lately, I haven't actually had much time to play violin, so uh, my playing's been a bit bad. <laughs> I'm very happy with that uh, so that's gonna go back into the case where it belongs and that's all ready for the client to pick up so basically the instrument came in we had the three to four cracks you know it looked like an impact crack it looked like a bit of an accident so I basically took the top plate off glued the cracks individually put in the reinforcements did some filling Close the top plate again, finished filling, scrape back the filling, uh, put on clear varnish, put on uh, a tiny bit of retouching, more clear varnish, then I sanded it a bit and I cleaned and polished it. So, uh, so now the violin is all ready with those reinforcements inside. Those cracks are going to last for a very, very long time, in my estimate. But if they look after the instrument, that crack, those crack repairs will last um, hundreds of years. And, uh, and the player can get back into playing and make some beautiful music. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, as well as hit the little bell, because that way you find out every time I post a new video. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.